Welcome to Weinbolt TV, New Zealand's most, I'm going to slow it down actually for Pete. Um, welcome to Weinbolt TV, New Zealand's most passionate wine programme. Everybody said I really kind of speak far too fast at the start of that. So there we are, there's a slower introduction for you. Pete, you know who you are, kind of had breakfast at kind of Deus Ex Machina with you guys. Um, and yeah, the sound of romance is what it is. Um, first of all, I'm going to say that I quite fancy taking this out on the road a bit. Um, going to different locations, some cafes, restaurants. So if you know any places that um, have a good wine list or something like that, that kind of are easily accessible to us in New Zealand and possibly in Australia and you never know, kind of like the States or whatever, or the UK then uh, just leave a message just kind of just there um, about which ones to go to and uh, this is a I've got to say this wine is a, one of a personal favorite I have a personal connection with this a eh? Frank from the cellar door I've got to know pretty well stayed at his place a few times and also kind of Glazebrook Peter Goff the winemaker um, taught us at kind of AIT down there so uh, a big shout out to uh, Peter Goff and those guys that kind of make really, really good wine. Once you get above the, the stables and the silks and stuff like that, you start getting into some good, interesting wine. Um, Hawke's Bay, they make a Martin Rapino, uh, Syrah, Chardonnay, Pinot Gris from memory, um, and a, a few other bits and pieces. But for me, it's the, the Syrah and the Chardonnay are the kind of like real standouts. Um, as you can see, it's a very deep kind of plum slash crimson kind of colour. It's almost got a minty, herbal kind of minty, plummy kind of nose. That's the way I would... You almost get a bit of um, this real deep concentrated blackberry, raspberry, strawberry kind of just curled over or smothered with a bit of a bit of rosemary and a bit of mint. And then you get a kind of dustiness on it as well. It's got a very attractive nose. You definitely get that kind of dustiness in the mouth as well. Falls a bit short. I've got, to, I've got to be honest. Falls a bit short. Um, you get the, what you do get. You get right at the front. You get this really tremendous kind of fruit character. Then it gets into this kind of savoury, dusty kind of character behind that, and then then it just drops away, disappears, and then comes back again right at the end. There we go, I get that fruit. Fairly big mid palette, then just disappears. And that's just starting to come back there. Um, you know, Hawks Bay Syrah, I mean, it, it's it's kicking ass out there right now. I, I think that this is probably between Waiheke and um, kind of Hawks Bay, I think they're the places to be growing Syrah right now. Um, they're really on the kind of cutting, cutting edge of kind of, they're not world class just yet but they're they're, they're getting there 86 points as a score this is i thought this one was going to deliver kind of like 90 points to me it has done in the past previous vintages but um this 07 which was an exceptional year throughout the whole of the hawk space so i kind of really really kind of thought it would kind of bring more to the table than what it has so slightly disappointed and underwhelmed but 86 points is Still a bloody good score. So, um, also I've got to say thank you very much to Gary V for kind of asking me to contribute to the Cork to website. Um, and 
kind of enjoying doing that and hopefully kind of like going to set up a little Australian wine tour at some stage, go across uh, just jump the ditch and get straight into kind of touring around Aussie, seeing what they've got to offer because um, we just don't sell that much here right now in New Zealand so hopefully it, it can bring and deliver some pretty good wines. Adios amigos. <laughs>